Hello Chargers, I'm Lizette. And I'm Olivia. Today on the March 17th installment of DP News, we bring you news on... SPCC cosmetology visits, senior awards, community service deadlines, and more. DP, DP News starts now. now. class this Sunday? Yo gotta be kidding me. Nope. It's taught by Mike Lewis and will be on Ledbetter Beach at 1 p.m. on Sunday, May 22nd. <laughs> there are still about 15 spaces available. Come by P2 to sign up and get your class ticket. Hey Lizette, what's the best thing that rising seniors can do to make the college application process less stressful? Why, starting the process in the summer that is. Maybe that you'd like a little help. If so, head to the Goleta Public Library on Thursday, May 26th at 6 p.m. to hear a free talk from Tish O'Connor, a professional editor and college counselor. You'll have the chance to analyze the new prompts, create a timeline, and learn takeaway tools to jumpstart the essay writing process. Speaking of college, the SBCC Cosmetology Academy is coming out to do a presentation on having an exciting career in the hair and beauty industry on Wednesday, May 25th from 11.24 a.m. to 12.54 p.m. inside the Career Center. There will be going over what jobs are available in the industry, what the program entails, as well as any other questions you might have. They will also be doing braiding demos on anyone who wants their hair done. If you love coloring your hair fun colors or doing makeup and hair on others, come check them out. So make up your mind and see the presentation. Seniors, tonight is the night. Senior Awards. Seniors who receive an invitation to the event must report to the EPAC at 6.30 as the event will start at 7. The event will be honoring seniors who have helped the community and or had outstanding academic achievements. Parking space is limited, so carpooling is highly recommended. Moving on, current 9th, 10th, and 11th graders, were any of you absent on Friday? If so, please come by the counseling office at nutrition, lunch, before, or after school so you can review your class selections for next year and verify that they are correct for the 2016-2017 school year. Guys, the Charger Challenge has started. The yearbook team is raffling off 10 front-of-the-line passes, which is a surprise for each of the 10 winners. They are pulling from everyone who has bought a yearbook. By the end of this week, winners will be posted on Friday. Yearbooks are $90 right now, but on May 24th, they will go up to $100. Make sure to get your yearbook as soon as possible. Moving on, it's your chance to audition for next year's choir. They will be offering two sections with three choirs, period three and five. Sign-ups for auditions began yesterday in the EPAC hallway. Auditions will play, take place next week, May 23rd through 27th, from 3 p.m. to 6 p.m. in the choir room. Not sure what choir is all about? Come see their spring concert on Friday, May 20th at 7 p.m. in the EPAC to find out. Or you can come talk with choir members at lunch tomorrow for more information. Seniors, community service hours are due this Friday. For all underclassmen, hours are due at the end of the year. If you have any questions or want to volunteer opportunities for the summer, please visit the Career Center. That's all we have for you today, DP. Catch you later. Now throw it over to Jeffrey and Dallas with the sports. Hello, I'm Jeffrey Chow. And I'm Doug Splannery, here from the harbor. On Saturday, members of our track and field team traveled to Moore Park High School to compete in the Division II Southern Section CIF prelims. Out of the 13 athletes that competed, five are advancing to finals this Saturday at Cerritos College. On the field, we had freshman Josie Morales and juniors Spencer Kemmerer and Chris Jones all qualifying for the finals in high jump. Josie was the only freshman to advance and cleared 5-4 without missing any jumps that day. Both Spencer and Chris cleared 6-2 and both also only jumped twice that day. On the track, we had juniors Christina Rice and Hunter Clark both qualifying for the 3200 meter finals. Rice took the lead early in her heat and won the, her personal best of 10 minutes and 48 seconds. Hunter Clark ran the race with a time of 9 minutes and 25 seconds. We also had outstanding performance from other athletes as well, such as Megan Robinson, high jumped her personal best of 5'2 and will be the first alternate jumper at finals. Carmen Villarol <laughs> pole vaulted the challenging opening height of 10 feet and cleared it. 
Kaylee Reardon completed very well. Oh gosh, competed very well in both the 1600 and 800 meters, finishing with 1600 in five minutes and 20 seconds. The four by 100 team of Aiden Gilks, David Poindexter, Jack Landis, and Blake Harrison finished their event in 48 or 44.86 seconds, and Blake Harrison finished the 100 meters in 11.29 seconds. Also this weekend, Junior Ryan Fidel wrestled on the Tri County Re All Star Wrestling team, and the team placed second in the state for Greco Wrestling. Great job, Ryan. Keep it up. Our very own 19-7 number one Channel League softball team was seeded third for the Division IV CIF section playoffs. Our girls opened with a home game against wild card round winner, either Lakeside or Valley Christian, this Thursday. Come out and cheer on our girls. Also, our baseball team was the number one seed in Channel League and played Arcadia High School on Thursday at home. The boys are ranked number 12 in the Division II CIF playoff playoffs and are back to back to back to back to back Channel League champs and hope to continue a, a great season with a record of 19 and 8. And that's all for your sports recap. Now over to Anne with your current events. <laughs> Good morning, Chargers. I'm Ann Bailey with the news. Facebook is being scrutinized for an alleged political bias in the news it shows users. There are multiple claims that the company is deliberately suppressing conservative news in favor of left-wing politics. Facebook is denying all accusations, adding that there are employee rules and algorithms to fairly select which stories are shown to its users. The New York Times says experts warn that bringing bias in human efforts and trusting the neutrality of algorithms is a faulty premise and that algorithms are, after all, created by humans and therefore susceptible to the same unconscious biases. As a safeguard, Facebook said that it is investigating whether or not any such violations took place. In other news, the Santa Barbara County Sheriff's deputies searched near Dos Pueblos High School late Sunday night after a suspect that was chased by the police leapt from his car at the corner of Padova Drive and Alameda Avenue, causing the vehicle to crash into a large tree. The suspect has since been taken into custody after he called the Sheriff's Department in a failed attempt to report his vehicle as stolen. That wraps us up for today, DP. I'm Ann Bailey. Have a great day. Hey DP, today's temperatures will be a high of 73 and a low of 53, and tomorrow's temperatures will be a high of 75 and a low of 55. There will be winds of 4 miles per hour and 77% humidity. Weather forecast for tonight, dark. That's all for today, DP. Hi Scott, and happy birthday. Yes, that's right, it's your birthday again. 15 years it's been your birthday that you and I have celebrated. Look at our friendship. Happy birthday, Scott. I hope you have a great day. Thank you for all that you do, and I feel so privileged to get to work with someone like you, so I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful birthday. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Mr. Good Talk. Happy birthday, Scotty. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. Happy birthday, Scott. I hope it's an awesome one. Happy birthday, Scotty G, partner in crime. Love you, and uh, I know we're the same age. It's good to be 29, isn't it? Congrats, love you. Happy birthday, Scotty G. Happy birthday, Scott. We are so thankful for all you do it here at DP, and we hope you have a great day. Happy birthday, Scott. 